is the Fox 11 10 o'clock news. Los Angeles City employee has been charged with 13 counts of weapons and ammunitions violations. Co workers even claim he was building body armor at work. And he's still on the city payroll. Tonight, Christina Gonzalez tries to find out why, in a story you'll see only right here on Fox. Christina? Yeah, he's still on the payroll because he has a right to an investigation, say personal officials. Now, keep in mind, this man already had a criminal record when he was hired back in 2007. And this year, while following up on co workers' concerns that this man was building body armor, investigators found at his home so many weapons they described him as living in an arsenal. Daryl Beverly and Sarah Friesner, who is referred to as his common law wife in court documents. You each have the right to have your preliminary hearing. A preliminary hearing on charges having to do with firearms, lots of them, found at the Inglewood home belonging to the LA City mechanic. The 45 year old Beverly works at a maintenance facility for city trash trucks where we tried to talk to someone. Anybody who supervises Daryl Beverly, an employee here? Oh, no, that's his shop. I really don't know what's going on with that. We're here trying to get some kind of comment. I'm looking right. for supervisor for Daryl Beverly. I'm with Channel 11. Do you need somebody here? Um, he's in our station. He's already gone. We wanted to ask about a police search warrant in which one of Beverly's supervisors at this facility told police he had seen guns when he helped Beverly move into the Inglewood home. That quote, he was becoming concerned with his increasing anger. And quoting again, he had observed that Beverly was manufacturing some kind of steel plate body armor. Fox 11 caught up with Beverly at court asking if he was building body armor on the job. No. To selling guns, he said. They're wrong. He is charged with 13 counts of being a felon in possession of weapons and ammunition. Check out the photos from the search warrant. Tactical rifles, handguns, body armor, assault weapons, even 100,000 rounds of ammunition, which according to investigators, Beverly was selling online. Uh, I'm not at liberty to talk about it. He also can't comment on how he was actually convicted of weapons violations back in 94. That's also in the search warrant, including that in 1995, he was convicted of 261.5 in the penal code. That's sexual assault of a minor under 16 years of age. Yet, he was hired by the city. We're human and we were, are hiring humans. Nobody's perfect. The spokesperson for LA City's personnel department can't talk about the Beverly case specifically other than to confirm he is now on administrative paid leave. They have to call in every day. They can't, they can't get another job. They have to stay there. And we will do the, the investigation as quickly as humanly possible. No word on how long the criminal case may take. Beverly and his wife are pleading not guilty. I don't want to talk to anybody. Sarah Friesner also faces three counts dealing with assault weapons. Detectives claim she was the straw buyer for Beverly, who cannot even own ammunition as a convicted felon. Her attorney saying... If the prosecution presented their evidence, and as far as my client is concerned, who's the wife, uh, I, I think it was weak. I, I'm not sure uh, how they're going to get over establishing that she was in possession of these weapons, but, but we'll see. No comment on camera from Beverly's attorney. Again, they are pleading not guilty to the criminal charges. The next court date is in mid-December, and of course, we will keep everybody updated. Oh, he's out. He's out for you. And oh, yeah. how did on he bail. do that? The bail was the not high. The bail was an amazingly low number, thirty-five thousand dollars, which is very low. And the reason why so many of his coworkers are kind of afraid to come mm -hmm. forward. All right, Christina. Thank, thank you. you.